Hello everyone, welcome to Bistro Buzz TV. Today at the Bistro, we are going to be making chicken and noodles. And the first step is I have bought six chicken thighs and I placed them into the pressure cooker. And again, you've seen this one on my channel already. It's the Power Pressure Cooker XL. And I'm just going to place it on the chicken and meat setting. And we're gonna cook these, and then we're going to go ahead and take some of the skin off of these. There is a little bit of skin on these, but I'm going to take the skin off, and then we will continue with our chicken and noodle recipe. So we're gonna let the chicken cook, and then we will be back. The chicken thighs have cooked for about 11 minutes in the Power Pressure Cooker XL, and now what I'm gonna do is take them out. I'm gonna place them into this glass bowl and I'm going to place chicken broth over them and then I'll refrigerate them overnight. And then tomorrow, what we're gonna do is take these, we're gonna put them in the crock pot and we're gonna complete the recipe for the chicken and noodles recipe. So we'll be back tomorrow to complete the recipe. Before I place these in the refrigerator with the chicken broth, I just wanted to share with everyone, I mix half and half the Swanson chicken broth that is unsalted and then the regular Swanson's chicken broth. And then I place just half and half into the dish with the cooked chicken thighs. I'll place them in the refrigerator overnight and then tomorrow we'll finish the recipe but I just wanted to share that I do half and half. One that is the chicken broth that's unsalted and then the chicken broth that is already salted. So we'll be back tomorrow to finish up the chicken and noodle recipe. Hello everyone and welcome back. The next step is I have added some baby carrots to the crock pot and I'm also going to cut up some celery and place the celery into the crock pot also and then we'll go ahead and move forward to the next step. The next step, I have cut up five stalks of celery and I've placed it into the crock pot on top of the carrots. So right now we have the carrots on the bottom layer and the celery on the next layer. And what I'm gonna do now is take the chicken thighs that we cooked last evening and they've been marinating all night in the chicken broth. I'm gonna place the chicken thighs on top of the celery. We have now placed the chicken thighs on top of the celery, and I'm now going to add the chicken broth. Just wanted to add one more time that I use both the chicken broth that's unsalted and also the chicken broth that is salted, and I use the Swanson brand. You can use any brand that you would like. The Campbell's brand would be okay too, and the other brands that you may find at your stores. But what I do is I use half and half because if I use the one that is all salt and not the one that's unsalted, it just seems to be a little bit too salty for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add half and half to the crock pot and I'm going to cook on high for about two hours. And then I'm just gonna keep checking. I like to cook it for about four hours just so the flavors can get into the carrots and the celery and the chicken thighs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the chicken broth half unsalted and half the one that is salted. And I'm gonna cook it for about four hours and then we'll be back. I find that if I take a measuring cup and add one cup of the unsalted chicken broth and then another cup of the salted chicken broth into a two cup measuring cup, it makes it very, very easy to know just how much you're putting into the crock pot. So I'm going to do this about three times. So that'll be about six to eight cups of chicken broth and then I'm gonna cook it for about four hours and then we will be back. Okay, we have the carrots, we've got the celery, we've got the chicken thighs and the chicken broth. This has been uh, in the crock pot for about four hours. We did have it on high, we turned it down to low. And now I'm going to do the noodles and I'm doing it this time with the microwave. So what I did was I added about a half of a unsalted, box of the chicken broth and also a half a box of the salted chicken broth that we had shown earlier. 
and I put that in the microwave for four minutes and now I'm going to add the noodles. The noodles that I'm using is the no yolks, the dumplings, and I don't want them to get very soft, so that's why I have not added them to the crock pot today. So what I'm doing is I have the chicken broth where I placed it in the microwave for about four minutes. I'm gonna add the dumplings. I call them noodles, but they're really dumplings. I'm gonna add these to the chicken broth. I'm gonna put them in the microwave for another minute, and then I'm gonna see about what the consistency of them is then, and then I'm eventually gonna add them to the crock pot, but I do not want them getting too soft. I'm only adding a half a bag of the noodles and I've just added it to the chicken broth that I put into the microwave for about four minutes. And now I'm gonna put this back into the microwave for another minute. I just don't wanna use the stove top right now. I just wanna do it more of a simple way. I don't want the stove going, stove top going like that. So I'm just gonna do the microwave way. Because again, remember, I don't want these to be very soft. I just want to get them just enough tender to place them into the crock pot because when they get into the crock pot they're going to continue cooking so I'm going to place this into the microwave for one minute and we'll see what they are like then. Okay they've been in the microwave for one minute I'm stirring them really really good they have gotten a little bit soft but we still need to put them back in the microwave for about oh I'm going to say probably two minutes this time and we'll see how they are after that. Okay, I put them back in the microwave for two minutes. This has been a total of four minutes. What I'm gonna do now is place the noodles into the crock pot and let them cook just a little bit and we will have our dinner served. So that's all it is. You cook your chicken, chicken thighs the night before, marinate them in the chicken broth overnight. Then the next day, get your crock pot out, put your carrots, your celery, and your chicken thighs in the marinade with the chicken broth that you use into the crock pot with additional chicken broth, the unsalted and the salted like I showed you earlier. And then you put your noodles in your microwave for four minutes in the chicken broth and you're ready to go. So dinner will be served shortly. Everyone, dinner is served. So I had the crock pot with the celery and the carrots, and then I kept separately the noodles. I just didn't want the noodles to get too soft. So here we go. Dinner is served. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe and come back to visit us again soon. Thanks everyone.